Hello, hello, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. I've been shopping. I don't know. I don't know. I've decided that the collecting of fabric and materials for sewing and the act of sewing are two very different hobbies. What do you think? They really are because I love collecting fabric and I do, do love sewing and I love having a really nice selection of things to choose from. When I do decide to make a garment, I go to my stash and so I've added to it a little bit, a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, this is a shopping haul and it's not just fabric. I've got a few notions. Uh, let me just start with that because I needed a couple of things and I think they're kind of interesting. One is I ruined my favorite tweezers and I got them when I went to a class on how to use my serger at the sewing machine store. I have the Viking Amber Air and I got a little lesson on how to use it and I bought stuff. So one of them I bought this pair of really nice, sorry, really nice um, tweezers and I ruined them recently. So I replaced them. They're Martelli Pinpoint Tweezers. I love these tweezers so much and it kind of got me thinking about something i saw on jen's sewing channel in jen's sewing room she had these um medical grade kind of tweezers and so surgical online i have purchased these rainbow mosquito hemostat forceps <laughs> look i don't even know what this is but i bought it because she said they were really good for little things like reaching little places because they hold really tight and this was two pairs I don't have a receipt on this package but it was two pairs for a certain price so I'll be anxious to see how these work oh it looks like once you get in there it clips and holds it well these are cheap cheapos from Amazon this is all this whole package is from Amazon but aren't they cute little rainbow so I don't know. I'll see what I'll see what I do with those machine needles. Um, do you have a favorite brand? Because I'd love to know. These are all Schmetz. I got stretch, stretch, stretch. This whole package is stretch. And I got Universal Schmetz. But if you have a favorite brand, I'd love to know. So nothing like super exciting in that package, but stuff I needed. And now let's do super exciting. This came in the mail, and I've had really good luck with Olga's. Is that what it's called, Olga's? Well, I'll put a link to her store because she has some beautiful fabric, and I've had another haul of the, this same store, and I just love, love, love what I bought there. So I, I went and saw it, see if they had anything new that I might like, and let's just see what I got. This. Oh, love. It, what do you call this? It's not a plaid. It's called something else. Let's see if I can find the paper. There it is. It's called Argyle. I knew there was a word for that. Argyle. So I got this. Um, three yards for $16.95 at Joann's. I would get one yard and it would still cost me more than $16.95. It's what I paid for this whole three yards of this Argyle. And look at these colors. Where's the end? Isn't that so pretty? Isn't that so pretty? I love these colors. I'm not a super huge fan of obvious diagonals because I'm a lazy sewer and that, you know, takes a little work to make it look good, but you just never know what I might make out of this. But it is a double brush poly. That's a nice stretch. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I like double brush poly. All right, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this feels nubby. Ooh, uh, it's a waffle. I think it was a waffle knit. And I bought this piece to try it out. It's not as soft as this, but I wanted to try it out. We call this Charcoal Chunky Solid Waffle Knit. I got two yards for $11.30. I don't know. thought it might make a cute little wrap. Um, a sweatery kind of thing. Let's get it one layer. So it's kind of, it's kind of see-through. But um, this looks like it would be a really nice sweater cardigan wrap. 
that's what I'm thinking. So I'm excited to see what this turns out to be, but I was thinking I needed a few more basic neutrals. I'm really big on the prints. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this could be Olga's. I don't remember where I bought this, but it is like my favorite, one of my favorite fabrics ever. I just love the colors. All right. This one is paper. Sorry about that. Teal pink red floral double brush poly. I got three yards of this for $19.93. Excellent price. Excellent price. I just thought this just looked like a really good pattern. Isn't that pretty? Yep. I love it. Lots of great colors. Don't know what this would end up being. Um, I don't know who I saw it on just like today. Somebody was saying, I want to say it was, it was on Instagram. Well, anyway, she said, get three yards. Three yards, you could pretty much make anything. And there you go. Three yards of that. Did you wish I was folding these nice and neat? I don't have time for that. <laughs> okay, this one is brown, pink, blue, floral, double brushed poly. I just thought it looked fall. It doesn't this look fall? Oh, I'm looking up there. Do I have something green just like this? <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I don't care if I have something just like it. I love it. I love it. Well, now I'm curious. Hold on. Okay. I don't know. I was thinking this is this exact same pattern, but it is a, just a slightly bit different. <laughs> or is it? Oh my gosh, it's the same pattern. It's the same print, just a different color. Well, I love them both. Truly I do. Okay, you're not in this, you're not in this video. Some people just got a horn in where this one is the star. I love these colors. I don't wear a lot of brown, but I do wear a lot of the same colors over and over and over. So I'm trying to stretch out of them, but I do love this a lot. So thank you, Olga. That is a lot of loveliness. What do you think? This isn't soft but I think it's gonna be a nice sweater. But these are super soft. Okay, move over, move over, move over. Somebody else wants to get in this video. So that was a whole lot of fabric for $73.03. All of that. Man, that's, you, you know, I have to say I'm disappointed with Joanne's getting so expensive, but there's still options. Thank you, online shopping. Thank you, online shopping. Thank you, online shopping. Because without that, I don't know. I, I mean, I would have only gotten like one or two pieces for that same price at three yards each. So this was a surprise haul. I wasn't expecting to buy, but I went shopping with my daughter at a local, well, local to me. It's Sacramento is an hour and a half from me. So do I call that local? Is that local to you? <laughs> I don't do it very often. Uh, but we went together to get fabric for my granddaughter's costume she's going to be we don't know we're calling it a fairy princess and she will have wings and a wand uh request that she made and so my daughter and i went shopping without her and chose fabric for this costume and the main feature is going to be we're going to put lights in her skirt how cute will that be so i had a picture in mind that i had seen someone had sent me i'm going to show that to you real quick So I'm a copier. I mean, I'm just going to copy that. I want to just make it just like that. But she said, no, the thing sis likes about that dress is the lights. Let's pick something that she would like. So I just thought mama pick and mama did. And this is what she picked. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is sheer and it has, it has sequins and little flowers on a netting. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so pretty. I said, well, you need something, you know, underneath it, obviously. And I thought it should be something, you know, structure, structure like a cotton. So we did. We got just this basic cotton and it's going to go underneath and it's going to be lovely. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that going to be pretty? So not sure if it's going to be a skirt and top or a whole dress. And I will let mama decide. She's supposed to be 
looking on Pinterest for inspiration, I would way rather just have a picture to try to emulate than to try to come up with something on my own. This one, I'll fold just because it was so easy to do. This one, I messed it up, you guys. I just wanted to show you the whole thing. So no, not folding it, not folding it, not folding it. So while I was in there, I thought, well, I'm here. Uh, I can walk down the rows and see all my fabric. I have that, I have that, I have that, I have that. And so I thought if I have anything I want, I'm getting it now because you just never know um, the next time I'll actually be down there. So let's see what I got. I got, I thought this was lovely. This is super soft, so soft, very lightweight, not see-through. It has just a slight, um, a slight little, um, it's not French terry, but it, it feels like it could almost be that. It is almost suede on the top. It's so soft, but just love the idea of how neutral this is because I've been buying, like I said, way too many prints. And I thought this would be pretty, 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 pretty. And I could wear it with lots of things. I don't know what it's going to be, but guess how many yards I got? <laughs> yes, three. Um, so that, love. Love, love, love. And it's very stretchy. Not so much vertically, but very stretchy horizontally. Like verticals this way and horizontals this way, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Like I needed more tie-dye, but I love tie-dye. And isn't that pretty? And it's a nice tie-dye. You know, some of them are prettier than others. But isn't that gorgeous? This feels to me a lot like just a nice t-shirt. It's, it's no stretch vertically and a lot not a lot, not a lot uh, horizontally. So I'm not sure what this would be, but isn't it pretty? Isn't that pretty? So that's pretty. All right, let's see what's next. I thought these might make some good leggings. So it's, um, it's very much a poly, like a polyester, kind of has that almost swimsuity feel to it, but I thought it might be good for some leggings and I absolutely love, love, love this color. And it's got a lot of stretch both ways. So, love this color, so there it is. And this one too, same thing. Also, that one's not as stretchy. Hmm, not sure what that's gonna be. But, how pretty are these colors? Let me, let me show you. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these like, um, what do they call them? Geometric prints. I just love that. Love it. So I don't know what that's going to be, but hey, those two look like they'd be almost good together. No, this is more of a royal. Well, it's pretty. And my daughter said this was pretty. And I agree. And I said, if I wear it, will people think I look just like you because you picked it? This, this is not super stretchy ver uh, vertically, but it is very stretchy horizontally. This would make a nice dress. These are going to be leggings. Now, as some of you know, I did come out with my Hoodie Hugs pattern recently. Thank you so much for all of those who supported me with that. And my next up is Comfort Waist Leggings. So I'm buying a few pieces for my test garments to kind of see what different fabrics will do. And this is a very much a poly stretch. Poly, I want to call it poly lycra. I mean, I don't know my fabric, so <sighs> very stretchy. So this, this to me would be so cute with just a, just a little hoodie jacket, black and a black top, and then these leggings. Am I wrong? What do you think? Well, that's what they're going to be. And then this is the last one, and I tell you, I, I'm not a camo fan, but I have to get this. hold this one up. Did I hold this one up? Gosh, I love this pattern. Isn't that great? It's just awesome. All right. And I may or may not have held this one up. So here, let's do that. I love how big these flowers are. They're so dramatic. That's going to be gorgeous. All right. Camo. Back to the camo. This is so soft. I tell you, soft means everything to me. 
it has a great deal of stretch this way but not as much this way but still some and I was actually thinking that I'd like to try my hoodie hugs pattern in a long like a long version long sleeve long this to me would be perfect for that I might even put the pocket in the front even that big kangaroo pocket that would be cute oh my gosh actually this would be cute on it too hmm this would be cute with everything <laughs> cute with that cute with that cute with this what okay <sighs> what a haul I'm pretty excited to get this into my stash and I have to get started on this soon but she hasn't sent me any pictures yet so I'm not feeling the push the rush but I hope you enjoyed shopping with me um, we had the most fun. That is such a fun store. In fact, let me take you on a little tour of it right now. What do you think of my favorite I, fabric store? I love it. It's so cool here. It's huge. It's huge. It's, it's pretty, very cool. We found all the cool fabrics. I know. We, we're not we stopping. We can't stop stacking them up. <laughs> so did we get the right thing for Sis? Yes. She's going to love it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Let me walk right past you. <clears throat> There's no end. Well, it was fun to go shopping with my daughter someplace I like to go, but it's not as much fun since it really had no, no, not a lot of interest to her. She's not a sewer. And uh, so um, thank you guys for being my sewing buddies because who else wants to hear about this stuff, right? <laughs> Nobody really. It's just like an, a thing that they just put up with. And I don't know, that's how it is in my life. They, eh, their eyes don't totally glaze over, but they don't get it. Like the passion behind the two hobbies of fabric collecting and sewing garments. Two separate hobbies, just so you know. They're not the same. Not the same. I hope wherever you are, you're uh, able to go shopping too and get some wonderful fabrics. And um, try Olga's if you haven't looked. I really love this store and those prices. I think they're pretty good. I mean, honestly, these prices weren't all that much better than the ones at Olga's. Um, I would say, I, don't, I didn't write down the prices, but they are anywhere from as low as $4 to as high as 8 but nothing above that at all. Everything was more like 6 and 5 and 6 and 7 So I love that store. If you're in the Sacramento area, you need to go there. It's called High Fashion Fabrics and it's on Franklin. And they always have just a warehouse full of fabric. Always. And um, lots of different kinds. Their upholstery section is huge. Their trims and notions is huge. They just have so many fabrics there. I just love that store. And um, it's nice to be able to afford to kind of stock up a little and not feel like guilty. <laughs> Should I feel guilty? I'm looking at my uh, storage shelves and I don't know where this is going to fit. I'll have to figure something out. But I hope you enjoyed this shopping haul. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. Please hit the subscribe and give me a thumbs up and a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye now.